Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Fox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys my steps for crafting gear for my Righteous Fire character. A lot of the times when I post progress video updates for you guys, it doesn't really include this part. Um, so I just want to go ahead and show you this. So before I start crafting, I want to show you my method for actually acquiring this. So if you already know about this, you can just totally skip. So the first thing we're going to do, and I have this explained in previous videos, is we're going to go to a short delve that's already completed that we have not broken any breakable walls at. Since we're playing Righteous Fire, uh, our goal is Scorched Fossils and Pristine. That would be life and fire damage. And we're basically just going to be looking for those. So let me just go ahead and show you. So all we do is any place that's a side area after this first breakable wall, since we did not break it, is going to contain items and potentially fossils and resonators. So there's a pristine that's for life roll. And GGG is well aware of this. This is just part of how it is. Uh, for the people who are going to complain a lot, remember that you cannot get the best fossils from this method. You can simply acquire the ones you need to basically craft the basics of the gear. Granted, some of those basic gear may be the best in the game, but that's just kind of how it is. Oopsies. Let's go over here. The level of the area, to my knowledge, doesn't really matter at all. The only thing that I'm aware of is, like, if you had a quantity roll, for example, it would help you with your uh, uh, currency chests. That's really about all I can think of. Lost armor. Probably should have clicked it, but it's okay. And then we're simply going to run to the end. And we reset. Sometimes we'll find like six fossils. Sometimes we'll find four. Sometimes we'll find none. That's kind of just how it is. Um, so let's go ahead and start the crafting session. So I want to let you guys know what I'm currently doing. Uh, if you watched the previous progress video guide, then the only thing I changed out is I dropped my Saffles frame for an Ons Heritage. I was really lucky when I found this. I honestly completely forgot this was an option for Righteous Fire. I think I'm going to take this over the oak, and the main reason why is, unlike Saffle's frame, Ons does not reduce my block chance, so I have 29% chance to block still. Uh, I don't have any spell block, but that's okay. It still gives plus 3 to all max res, with you have no endurance charges, which is crazy. The shield is minus 1 endurance charges. Since we're in, like, basically solo self-found, if you guys are aware of the league rules, um, we ended up getting two fragility gems. Now, normally, these are not very good, but even in this build, they're still decent. But the reason why they're even stronger is in SSF, it's a lot more tedious to craft your gear. Getting these are pretty easy. Uh, of course, it's still random. You basically just Vol Crimsons. Now, by doing this, I have permanent onslaught on my character. So even, even with only 20% movement speed boots, the character feels really, really nice, as you guys saw previously. So, let's start this crafting. Um, today, we are going to be crafting a belt. The reason why I want to go for a belt is mainly because leather belts are not very good. And yes, I know that there are, you know, recovery rate belts, but I'm SSF. This league is ending in a few days. We don't have time for that shit. So we're going to go ahead and craft a Stygian Vice. Now, on this Stygian Vice, we're going to craft only three times. We're going to use a Prismatic for more elemental, so for the Ellie damage. Uh, Scorched, so we can get fire damage. And pristine, so we can simply just get... Actually, does pristine even work on belts? I don't know if it actually is even good on belts, now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, it helps me with more life modifiers, so I guess I will use pristine. Let me just PoE DB. This website will show us everything we need. So on this website here, you can simply go to what we're, we're going to do right now. So we're just going to go to accessories. Where's accessories on here? Jewelry belt we are going to go ahead and click scorch fossil because that's what we're using we're also going to click prismatic because that's the ellie fossil so we're going to click that and then we are going to also do pristine and see what it does yeah so pristine removes es and armor from the prefixes which is really good it does open up like ref well more flask life recovery but we're not really that doesn't really matter um now, we're going to go ahead and see what happens here. So we've got Prismatic, oopsies, Scorched, and Pristine on Mr. Belt. 
So we've got more fire, more elemental, more life, no cold, no armor, blah, 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 blah. And here we go. So we rolled actually a pretty decent belt. 24% fire with 76 life. Um, pretty decent, to be honest. Um, the only problem with this belt, and the reason why I'm probably not going to keep it... I don't know, I guess I can hold it for now. Mm, the problem is, is it doesn't have the best of life, and the resistance is complete trash. So actually, it's, it's not staying. We're going to roll it. And if we don't get something good, we just farm more later. So let's go for another attempt. Uh, that is, we don't want to talk about that one. So let's go again. Last attempt. We're probably not going to get a better one, but... Okie dokie. So this one did not roll the fire damage. But it's better because it rolled 85 life. Has two decent resists. Has suffix open for another resist. And we get an abyssal jewel. So it's not what I wanted, but it's for sure an upgrade compared to this. So that's good. We've gotten an upgrade. So now I have, this is not the best base to use at all. Remember, I, I don't really have like good bases right now because it's SSF, we're limited with what we have. Um, the reason why I'm using an ES evasion is because uh, ES adds to our energy shield pool, which we then burn off for Righteous Fire to deal bonus damage. So we're gonna go ahead and slam this one with Pristine and Scorch. Pristine gives you access to better life rolls. Uh, you can also basically get a hybrid roll with it. And Scorched gives us the option of acquiring minus fire res as an aura so let's start now you could if you wanted to just to show you guys another example of something you can do <clears throat> chat what is the fossil called that oh here we go enchanted <clears throat> excuse me we can use enchanted fossils if you want to see what what this basically does is with the enchanted fossil you could essentially use it and you can re-roll the enchant on it so that's like barrage attack speed um if we use another one for example this one will be uh, freeze pulse cast speed. So there's a lot of random things you can do with this. So it's cool because if you don't like doing uber lab You can just like kind of do this right like there we go That's actually that's actually insane because that gives us 20% movement speed permanently for our build So that's actually I'm so fucking happy. I just rolled that this is pretty much gonna be our our helmet until we die now So now uh, since I actually use smoke mine, so that's perfect. Actually, we have like a 12 second smoke mine. Yep perfect so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we are going to try to roll this helmet. So let's start. Pristine, Scorch, go. So that's 39 life, 1% regen, minus nine fire res. We're looking for like big dick, 90 plus life with the fire res or else we don't want it. So let me go pull out, boom, boom. Scorch and Pristine, craft. No. So that's the other life hybrid basically right there, if you see it. The uh, subterranean with the percentage life. Oops. Oh, this one we need some scours. Let's pull out a few scours that we have. Okay. Mm, no, thank you. Not good enough. One and two. 82 life, 1% regen, and minus 9 fire res. That's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. It doesn't have resistance open, but, like, I mean, that's pretty fucking good. It has prefix open for... I can just basically craft energy shield on it, and that's good because I have that extra 1% regen that I didn't have before. Um, so that's not bad. And yeah, the mana's okay, because we may end up going Mind Over Matter, so... Uh, definitely an upgrade. So we've made two upgrades now. In fact, if I had another Stygian Belt, I would actually, like, craft more, but I don't have another Stygian Belt. So now, we're basically gonna do complete big dick on the two stone boots. Um, so what we're gonna do for these two stone boots... Normally, I would not recommend these because you want lab boots so you can get, like, regen enchant. But the thing is, is fuck it. So that's pretty much the thing. So we're going to go ahead and go back to this website. And we're going to go to boots. And we're going to click them. It doesn't really matter. We're uh, strength dex boots. So on strength dex boots, we don't really have much. So let's tag pristine. By tagging pristine, 
It eliminates most things except for movement speed from here. Um, but we don't really like need anything else for the most part. So I'm pretty much just going to use pristines on them the whole way. Because I really dislike our boots. I would like... Like, I just want some fucking good boots, basically. So, let's pull out these four, drag them over here. Okay, so, uh, here we go. Well, I mean, honestly, those are really not that bad. But the thing is, is like, we've got a way more essences here. So, I'm just going to keep fucking slamming until we get something really good. That's that's it. No, I can't remove those. Those are insane. They give 20 fucking fire cold, 104 life, percent life, some movement speed, we get more from smoke mine, percent regen, and I can just suffix or resist onto it. Okay, well fucking that's done. I don't have like Fuck! I was supposed to use everything for the YouTube video. Okay, let's find some more shit. So I was ori originally going to craft some gloves, but I don't have any gloves to craft because I couldn't find fingerless gloves. So we're just going to go buy some gloves to just make some better ones. I may need to suffix dex. I'm a trickster, my friend. That's not going to happen. Uh, let's see. Let's go to epilogue. We're gonna purchase. We're gonna purchase some gloves here. Hi, ma'am. Or hi, Mister. Can you sell me some gloves? Okay, we got sure, these. No, these. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take these. Okay. Seems good. Let's go. Okay. One, two, three, four. Go over here. Good. Okay. So for gloves. I think we just want pristine as well. We're not really looking for anything too crazy. We do want really high life, so... Um, yeah, I guess we're just pretty much going to go with it. So, I guess we can use an enchanted fossil. Edict of Blades. I don't know what that is. I think I want, like, not that. Trigger Edict of the Grave when your skills or minions kill. I don't want to get fucked by chain maps. I'm, tell me I have something to reroll that. Uh, shit. Shit. Well, it's okay. If we die, it's for good fun, right? All right, here we go. So, let's go ahead and start with the rolling. Seventy-four life. I mean, it's not bad, but we want more than that. 88 life with 1% regen with lightning res. Oh my god, dude. Like, I, I don't have to do anything. They're just good. Okay, well. I guess I guess that pretty much summarizes it because we're we're pretty much good. We're good to go. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember, if you did like the video, f please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at Twitch.tv/box. One more thing I want to add in for you guys that remember we're not gonna have like infinite delve in the next league, so it's really important to potentially use the strategy that I showed you guys. Anyway. Have a wonderful time, everybody.